this smell like? Oh, this is the grapefruit with hints of mint. Gorgeous. Hi friends, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> we wanted to share the beautiful waddle with you. We're being buffeted by waddle. <laughs> and just hop on a vehicle and drive around the property and share the beauty of our land. Yeah, come for a little paddock bash. Nothing gold can stay, but we're going to hold these golden moments as long as we can and share them with you. And we'll fill your head full of wattle tidbits as we travel. <laughs> so the trees and shrubs that we refer to as wattle are actually acacias. And there's something like over a thousand different varieties right here in Australia. And they're very short-lived, so they kind of blaze out, which sort of sounds defeatist, but actually it provides shelter for smaller trees um, as they're getting started. And then as the wattles break down, provides habitat for other wildlife to flourish. Yeah, and some wattles can live even up to 200 years old. They're not mm -hmm. all short-lived, many are. Mm -hmm. They're also um, excellent nitrogen fixtures, so they take that out of the atmosphere and put that down into the soil where the roots of plants and bacteria can access that nitrogen and benefit the soil that Way. When Chris and I moved here 20 years ago, the only wattle we could find was hidden in gullies. But since then, we've incorporated wattle planting into our regenerative agriculture strategy. And because of that, every springtime our land is awash with green and gold. So here in Australia, the 1st of September is also our first day of spring, at least according to the calendar. And going back to the 1900s, that's been National Wattle Day as well. And if you talk to old Australians, they always remember the early wattle festivals held in the small rural towns. Yeah, you have to be careful. They'll start singing you little ditties that they learned yes. in primary school and so forth. <laughs> the bush was great. As I said, be careful. <laughs> yes. But we love um, the wattles. They've done a lot for our landscape. We've planted them in many of the tree belts that we have about the property. We have this sort of network of tree belts that join our paddocks and create natural beltways. That benefits the way we move our cattle around the property, but it also creates these corridors for wildlife. And the birds, of course, love the uh, insect life that, that is attracted to the wattle trees, and it makes a gorgeous habitat for many different species. And the honey we get from the wattle season is truly outstanding. The First Nations people used wattle for instruments, medicine, food, weaponry, and also seasonal markers. They knew what seasons were coming by which wattle bloomed when. Because the different varieties bloom at different times, they each have a different scent, and they all have a different yellow. Gold. Gold, sorry, yes, gold. <laughs> and it's really not hard to imagine how in this landscape, which can often be quite monotone and drab, mm -hmm. these waves of color must have captured the imagination of, of the first Europeans to settle here in Australia and reminded them of brighter flowers and, and shrubs from their home country. And so they made it their own, and the, and the green and gold became emblematic of Australia um, very early in this country's European history. And in many ways they symbolize, I think, the ethos of Australia. They're tough, they're hardy, they're battlers, and then they just blaze every year, <laughs> at least once. And wattle is traditionally used in Australia as a symbol of remembrance, um, certainly dating back to the First World War. In fact, after Australia's ill-fated Gallipoli campaign, uh, soldiers were known to have left wattle seed there so that a piece of Australia would remain um, on that peninsula. And today there are wattles that bloom in Gallipoli. Many of the young men and women here in our community planted these wattle trees when they were younger and they can actually tell you all the different species names and we have quite a few blooming so it's really beautiful to walk or drive through our property right now and just see the wonder. So we're going to get Naran and her wattle indoors as soon as we can <laughs> so that it doesn't all fall apart in her arms. Uh, thanks for being with us and as always thanks for your comments and your contributions. We love having your company. See you next time. Talk soon. <laughs>